Essay 59, The New General Relativity The old general relativity has completely disintegrated scientifically, but still generates Nobel Prizes. So much for Nobel Prizes, or any prizes, they are very human and very transient. It has never been my intention to destroy anything in physics or natural philosophy, so I have started the search for a better theory. Common sense will always get you into an, an awful lot of trouble. In recent papers, some ideas for a completely new general relativity have been tried out, which is what science ought to be all about. Physics or natural philosophy is the philosophy of the natural world. It is not a political campaign for careers and prizes just a modest search for new thought. It is really arrogant to pretend that human nature could des describe nature, but we go on trying. What can be agreed upon in the tremendously divisive world of physics is that general relativity is an attempt to make uh, special relativity more general. That sounds like a truism or tautology. Special relativity began in discussions about the result of the Michelson-Morley experiment in the 1880s. In the world of physics, th these results are still being argued about 120 years later. Leaving that aside and accepting the data, this experiment shows in effect that the speed of light is a constant no matter how fast one moves. That is the opposite of common sense, but that is also special relativity. There are many arguments about special relativity. These repetitive arguments tend to be about concepts that are very abstract, but I accept its claims to have been tested with great precision by measurements of uh, time in a moving object, such as an aircraft or spacecraft. However, there are several ways of uh, interpreting the equations of special relativity. One of them has been given by uh, Horst Eckert of AIAS and UPTEC recently. Special relativity seems to have begun with letters between Oliver Heaviside and George Francis Fitzgerald and crystallized out in the work of Henrik Anton Lorenz, Henri Poincaré and others. Albert Einstein contributed uh, a little, little more to these ideas, notably the definition of uh, relativistic momentum, a notion by which the Lorentz transformation is made compatible with a law of conservation of momentum. I don't think that Albert Einstein can be credited with the idea of a constant speed of light. That is due to the much earlier work of James Clerk Maxwell, work that was made usable by one of my civil list predecessors, um, Oliver Heaviside. <coughs> Lorentz, Poincaré and others had already proven very elegantly that classical electrodynamics is a theory of special relativity intrinsically. It may be claimed that Einstein extended special relativity to classical dynamics and that claim is more or less true. However, the ideas of Einstein were not verified experimentally until the 30s in the work of uh, Cockcroft and Walton, whom I met in the senior common room of Trinity College, Dublin. Over the fireplace was a statue of the same George Francis Fitzgerald. The mathematical structure of special relativity is due to Hermann Minkowski of ETH uh, Zurich. It is based on a metric, a 4x4 four four diagonal matrix denoted diag 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. It seems to me that uh, general relati relativity uh, can also be based on this metric. This is rank heresy and therefore always very interesting. An orbit, for example, means that the Minkowski metric is constrained, its freedom is lost because, the existence, uh, because of the existence of the orbit itself. An orbit is a relation, for example, between the two cylindrical polar coordinates of a plane. These are r and theta. 
So by differentiation, the infinitesimal dr is related to d theta, producing a constraint. We are no longer free to choose dr and d theta independently. The infinitesimal line element of Minkowski in this set of coordinates is made up of the square of the time infinitesimal dt and the squares of dr and d theta. In special relativity, there is no orbit because a particle moves in a straight line with constant velocity. This means that there is no relation between dr and d theta. If the orbit is put into the Minkowski metric, special relativity becomes general relativity automatically. This result can be seen clearly because the procedure produce, produces torsion and curvature elements. In UFT 205, they are worked out by Horst Eckert and myself using computer algebra from the basic theorem of Riemann geometry, metric compatibility. A self-consistent procedure for cosmology emerges very simply using common sense. No need for all those Nobel Prizes. In UFT 205, a very pleasing self-consistency also emerged in that all the mathematical procedures of ECE were proven to be correct and uh, uh, exactly consistent. This uh, should not surprise anyone. Cardone knew what he was doing. These uh, self-consistencies are described in the next essay.